morning babes welcome to my youtube channel i'm just waking up <laughs> morning woke up early woke up at 6 it's about 6 30 now i'm gonna before i have check-ins today it's monday so before i go and check in with all of my clients and have to take all of that in i'm gonna go and i'm gonna listen to something a few positive videos um on youtube i'm gonna just sit outside and just manifest and take in the positivity and then i'm gonna start my check-ins also um today i'm gonna show you meal prep i'm gonna I, last night, I wrote down all of my goals, I recentered myself, and I decided starting as of yesterday, well actually as of Wednesday, I've committed to no meat again with only fish. But um, last night I sat down and made a real commitment to just really, because I cleaned things up since Wednesday, since my that one video about my anxiety. Um, I cleaned things up, but I'm still realized that I'm just not healthy. I'm not eating enough greens, enough veggies, and I want to be healthy, and I want to live a long time. So I made a commitment last night to I made a grocery list and a commitment to go buy a ton of veggies and not let them go bad this time, like I always do in my fridge. But I'm going to prep them, and I'm going to I'm going to prep in a way that I would if I'm eating like veganish or. Um, but I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go get sweet potatoes and. Um, all kinds of stuff and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to set myself up to be prepared for the most part as much as I can anyway eating the way I'm going to eat so that's it and then my meals came too my uh my delivery meals came this morning so um as soon as I get back inside I will show you guys oh my gosh you guys so I spent about a half an hour outside and I listened to a 15 minute morning motivational, uh, less brown motivational speech, and then I found this other morning gratitude, positive affirmations one. I can't tell you guys how good I feel right now. I feel amazing. Like I feel motivated right now, and I felt the best I felt in over a week and a half to two weeks. And um, one of the things that I didn't tell you that, I, that I'm not doing anymore, I don't remember if I told you this or not, but I'm, when I wake up, normally I roll over and I start looking at my phone. And like I told you in my last video, that really is, that it puts me in a bad mood. It makes me unhappy. So I did not look at my phone this morning. It's the first morning. And I'm not going to look at it until I have to post today at 4 o'clock. And then I'm going to put it down after I post. I have to discipline myself because it's hard after I post. I want to keep looking at it. So I'm going to put it down. And then I'm not going to look at it until my social media time, which is going to be between like 7 and 8 p.m. I'm going to be able to just answer my client messages, look at social media. Then I put it all away and I go back to, to reading and doing my nightly ritual manifestations and stuff. Um, so I want to show you guys. Everybody is always asking me, Katie, what do you, how do you find YouTube videos? What, how do I condition my mind? Well, take it upon yourself and do the work. Like you don't, a lot of people don't even try. You know what I mean? So but this is what I do. You can YouTube anything. I YouTubed morning positivity because that's what I was searching for this morning. So I found my morning gratitude, positive affirmations and this, I'm saving this and I'm gonna listen to this same exact, it's 10 minutes long. I'm gonna listen to that every morning, you guys, because this, was everything I needed to hear, and I highly recommend this one. Can you see that? Let me see that. Unlock Your Life is the, the, the place. So I'm gonna definitely keep that one in my morning routine. And now I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna go get my lemon water and hot tea, and I'm gonna start my check-ins, because right now is a good time to start my check-ins. I'm happy. I'm motivated, I'm, I'm ready to motivate others, and I feel fresh up here, and I'm good to go. So I have to keep this consistent, you guys. I have to keep doing this if I wanna stay happy and if I want to be a good coach, okay? Um, so, you know, for my clients that are giving my, me the time that I need and, and respecting that, that's why I appreciate you so much because it makes me become a better coach. I'm, I'm a better coach for you because I have more patience, I have, I'm I'm good up here, which makes me a better co coach for you. Here, look. Let's see what I got. The paleo ones are my husband's. Actually, some of them are mine. The salmon, this salmon one is mine. Gluten-free quesadilla cheddar scramble tofu. This should be interesting. Oh, 
Okay, food just came, got delivered to my door. It's an amazing thing. By the way, peep my eyelashes, you guys. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm just embarrassed. Look at that shit. Look like a broke off hooker. I'm so I mean, that how is that okay? How do you let someone get how does that happen? You guys, I am in desperate need of a good eyelash extensionist in Miami Beach. If you guys are watching this and you're from Miami, South Miami or Miami Beach or anywhere, I need someone in Miami Beach because I don't have a car, so I need someone close by, but I need someone that could do my, my eyelashes. I'm begging you guys, please help me, help me, help me. Anyway, so I just went shopping and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay, eggs, more eggs. Ooh, I got some uh, tomatoes. These are not the tomatoes. This is the thing that sucks about having your food delivered is like, these are not the tomatoes I would have picked at all. It was a young girl that delivered, so. Oh. All right, we got some pickles, some kosher dill pickles. So I'm gonna start making vegan um, veggie sandwiches. And I used to do this when I turned vegan when I was 26. I made, I was like, veggie sandwiches were my thing. So I'm gonna start making veggie sandwiches again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have cauliflower, I'm gonna make roasted cauliflower with this. Carrots, and I stopped getting the baby carrots because I read that those are, um, uh, it, it, they put them in bleach or something and it's just all bad. But lemons for my apple cider vinegar and hot lemon water in the mornings and for cooking. Mushroom, cucumbers, cut green beans. I like frozen green beans because um, normally I like my stuff Fresh, of course, but the frozen, the green beans go bad so fast, so I always get the frozen ones. Um, Multigrain sprouted bread. Now, I usually, I, I don't, I don't know. I guess maybe Ezekiel bread is maybe better for you, but I really like this Saint Saint Alvarado Street, or is it Saint? No, it's just Alvarado Street Bakery. I, I really like all their bread. And they have really good macros on the bread. So then I got some fresh kale, and I'm just, I love sauteed kale. So we're just gonna put this in like veggie bowls and stuff, and sprouts for my sandwiches and other things, and uh, Brussels sprouts. Keen, oh, she didn't get exactly the one I wanted. I wanted just the quinoa gluten-free um, noodles, but she got me corn and quinoa, so hopefully they're still healthy. I don't know. Sweet potatoes, and I already have red potatoes. I'm gonna probably cook both. And a red onion for stuff. So this is everything. Basically, what I'm gonna do right now, and I will take you through it, is I'm gonna cook quinoa, sweet potatoes, I'm gonna make all my complex carbs like that, have them readily available for me in my fridge, and then I'm just going to cut up, like maybe the carrots, uh, make things a little bit easier for me, more accessible with like some of the vegetables. Um, I'm gonna cut up the Brussels sprouts so they're just ready to go into the frying pan or whatever. Um, I don't normally like to pre-cook my veggies because they taste gross after a day or two. So that yeah, so I'm gonna, you'll see, uh, then I'm just gonna start maybe creating like little vegan bowls, like broccoli, sweet potatoes, kale, some beans, you know what I mean? Just an array of stuff all in one bowl. So I'm getting tons of micronutrients, tons of variety in my diet. And I really, really, really want to heal myself with food. And I've really um, taken a lot of time to think about how I'm really just not healthy. I'm not. And even when I think that I do clean things up and get healthy, I'm not because I don't have the recommended, you know, vegetables. I'm not eating enough vegetables. I'm not eating enough greens and I'm still just not eating healthy, as healthy as I wanna eat. I wanna be super healthy and I believe that food cures everything. So, you know, if I have any cancer cells growing or anything like that, I wanna just wipe those out. I just want to get, wipe them out, clean everything up with, while I'm still young enough, with my diet. Um, and I also want to heal my back pain. Um, my back pain has been so severe lately that it's been hard to work out, hard to sleep, hard to sit, hard to stand, hard to bike, hard to do anything. And it's really, really like ruining my life. And it's not, I'm not letting it ruin my life, but it really, if I weren't as strong as I am up here, any average person would be taking Norco or um, Vicodin for their for the way my back feels every day. I, it's awful, and, and not to mention my migraines and everything. So I'm really, really hoping with cleaning up my diet this will really, really help to 
to heal my back and I have read I've read many things that that um, have I've read many stories of people healing themselves not only with the power of their thoughts but with food so that's my new mission that's my goal so you guys get to just be on this journey with me. So I'm gonna start this um, meal prep right now. I'll take you through it. I'm gonna be as quick as I can so this video doesn't take forever. So I'm gonna do things that are gonna make it easier for me to just grab and go and still stay on track and eat healthy. Um, my biggest thing is, is I let myself get too hungry and then I don't wanna eat healthy food anymore and then I go to the quickest thing which is a waffle or whatever. But I've tried to eliminate all those things from my house, even the healthy waffles, and I just am putting the things that I know I need to eat in here and I don't give myself any other traits. So even like this kale, I'm gonna chop it up into little pieces and just put it into a bag so I can quickly grab it and saute it when I want to. And um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do with everything else, so here we go. Okay, so this has about one minute left. The sweet potatoes and the red potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead, I think these are probably done. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these red potatoes out. Let's see how these are doing. Oh yeah, I wonder if I should keep them in there for a little bit longer. So this was 425 for half an hour and it cooked them all the way through with 
grapeseed oil and a little bit of garlic salt and lemon. I really like lemon squeezed on there. So I'm gonna just leave these in for a little bit, just a teeny bit longer while I explain this to you guys and I'll get them out right when I'm done when I turn the camera off. All right, so this is basically everything I'm gonna be eating today. My carbs, my sweet potatoes, red potatoes, various fruits and veggies. Um, I'm gonna be doing green beans and broccoli that I have frozen in the fridge because that stuff. Some of the produce here in Florida, like the fruit's really good, a lot of things are really good, but like things like broccoli and, and, and certain things like that, they just go bad really, really quick. Um, I don't know if it's because they have to fly it all the way down here. I don't know the deal. Um, but so that's why with the green beans, the broccoli and other like things like that, I just like to buy them frozen because then I know that they're not gonna go bad. I'm not gonna waste money. <laughs> so other than those things that I have in the freezer, we're also gonna be incorporating Brussels sprouts, kale, spinach, mushroom sprouts, uh, cucumbers, avocado. I'll be making uh, veggie sandwiches, uh, carrots. I just cut these up to have them ready to go to, and same with these to snack on or if I wanted to roast some of these. Um, I'm probably gonna end up, I didn't do these ahead of time like I thought I was going to. I just, I want them to be good and fresh. I don't want them to be soggy. So I'll probably just roast these as I go. And this is pretty much gonna be my diet. And also my protein sources also consist of, as you guys have seen a million times, my collagen. I take about two scoops of this day. It gives me about 25 grams of protein. And then I do the bone broth. Oh, I just got this peanut butter flavor too. It's really good. Um, the bone broth protein gives me about 20 grams of protein. And then throughout all my fruits and veggies and potatoes. And I do still do eggs and egg whites. Um, at least once to twice a day along with some kind of fish so I'm either doing cod or salmon and I only do that once a day and I really even want to try and eventually eliminate that because I know that it's really not good for me because of everything that's in the in it when they you know like the mercury and everything um, I just don't trust any I don't trust it at all so yeah um, and then I have what else do I have in here and then I have like my tomatoes, my red onion, and there's some watermelon in here. I have some white onions. I like getting getting I like getting them already cut up because then I just throw them in the pan for cooking. I put them in my eggs, my omelets, everything. Um, and so and then I have some apples in there. And that, yeah, and that's it. So that's pretty much what my diet's gonna consist of. And oh, of course my my meals from the delivery lean that I showed you guys earlier. I'll, I'll be you know having them vegan meals and some paleo meals which is the cod and salmon and stuff like that you can if you want you can choose to pre-cook your veggies ahead of time and have them all ready to go in the fridge if you don't have time to go out and cook them like i do um i don't even necessarily have time but i know i will not eat mushed up vegetables i will they will just go bad and i will never eat them and i will end up ordering out and it will not be good so i'm right here setting myself up for success and i think i would have to say the number one issue that my clients have um and why they fail is because they don't plan ahead. And I don't, I don't know why they, some of them refuse to do it, but it really, really, really sets you up for success. And even I fail without a plan. So I have to, and I struggle with having a plan too sometimes, but I finally said no more, no more of this, uh, of this insanity. Like I want to start achieving my goals and nothing's going to stop me. Therefore, I'm gonna take an hour. This took me an hour. An hour out of my day. How do you guys not have an hour? Do you know what I mean? You do have an hour, but you have to make it a priority. So it's as easy as this. So you can you can either pre-cook things or package them the way I did, have them ready to go and ready and, and to be available for you. So if you guys don't want to eat a lot of meat like I don't want to, this is here's some options for you. I hope this video helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and share it with a friend. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm gonna have much, much more coming at you. And I will still have I have two nights of dinner so I have to freaking record for you so those are still coming but since I was ordering all this food and stuff right now and I was gonna do the meal prep today I was like oh why not I'll just film it and just kind of show them guys the, show them where my head's at all right you guys thanks a lot and I will see you next time bye